Mr. Hussain Arij, Jamia Millia Islamia graduate, and now living in Muzaffarpur, his hometown. He is uh, a social activist and by profession property developer. I am Amtad Alam Flahi from TwoCircles.net. Uh, what's your assessment about uh, the political situation in Bihar? See, Do you think that uh, in the coming election in October, the Muslims in Bihar will again vote for uh, Nitish Kumar? See, it's, it's a very difficult question because the Muslims are always in a dilemma and they are supposed to a puppet always exploiting the, the social party or the political party used to exploit always. And uh, still Muslims are searching a good political lobby, a good leader because they don't believe on Nitish Kumar. Uh, have you heard uh, about uh, Narendra Modi? Nitish said that uh, I'm, I'm having a great hand with Narendra Modi on that way. The Muslims are fearing that if Nitish are believing on Narendra Modi, how he can believe on it? No doubt uh, Nitish is far greater than Lalu Prasad, but still few things are very important here in Muzaffarpur or North Bihar or in Patna because Muslims are very, very uh, down and very, very illiterate. They are living just like a deserted life by such a committee report you heard about. And uh, Nitish Kumar or any party, even the Congress, are not thinking about this matter. Only 2 or 3 percent Muslims are in administration, rest are in business or job, and 60 percent Muslims are still living like an animal. You can see. Right, but Mr. Hassan Ari, uh, this is the, not the development of a few days or few years. In fact, uh, Muslims in Bihar have been discriminated for the last several decades. But two things go in favor of Nitish Kumar. First, he has launched several minority welfare schemes, and second, he has been able to control uh, his ally. Sang Parivar in Bihar. He has not been uh, forced to, to go out and he, ha he has not allowed them to, to launch any communal activities or communal violence in the state. And b besides, uh, he has launched several minority welfare schemes. So these two things go in favor of Nitish Kumar, don't you think so? Yeah, and that way you can say, but as well as the development is concerned, where is development? The old developments are based on paperwork only, not in road. The Muslims are suffering from food, they are living like starving life. The, see, India is based on uh, culture, I mean, the, with the village. India used to be uh, a state of village, you can say. But lots of people, they, they are graduate, uh, lots of people, they are reading, they are student. Where is development? They are asking about their parents. There is no any infrastructure in Bihar, there is no any company, there is no any campus selection for Muslims and mothers. Right, so just you said that uh, Nitish is better than Lalu. Yeah. How? See, the Lalu was totally based on uh, Yadav and uh, they, they used to say my Samikaran Muslims and Yadav. But now Nitish is looking after, looking forward to all of the people and they are not like Lalu Prasad. In, in Lalu region the people are fearing about kidnappers but now the crime rates are very low. Mm -hmm. I, I, I used to give thanks always to this uh, administration person because the crime rates are very low these days. But as well as the development is concerned, particularly Muslims, there is no any development in Muslims still. I can't say about future, but now it's not any types of development in India or abroad. So, in brief, uh, in your view, who the Muslims are going to vote in coming election? I think Congress. Mm -hmm. I think the Muslims are used to be going Congress. Too. Thank you.